Rendering animations to OpenEXR has quite a few benefits, um, one of which is containing render passes in your EXR, and another one is the higher bit depth to enable a larger dynamic range. However, previewing these animated image sequences isn't quite as easy as, say, PNG, or with just a standard movie file. A nice way to preview EXR image sequences without having to load them into a compositor is to use the tool DJV Imaging, uh, which is functions as a RAM player for image sequences, so no matter how big your image files, which for EXRs can sometimes range into the hundreds of megabytes, uh, it will load all of those images into RAM and play them smoothly at a smooth frame rate. And most of the time you can just drag a single image over on top of DJV and it will load up the image sequence and play beautifully and look exactly as you want. But with EXR sometimes there are difficulties, notably view transforms which in my case were set up in Blender to use Filmic, uh, they don't get communicated over to DJV, it's just interpreted as straight linear. So we're going to look at how to correct that. Okay, I have my EXR image sequence rendered out of Blender using the Filmic transform, which is by default. Um, I'm just going to drag the first one on here, loads it up nice and quick into RAM. But as we can see, things look very crunchy. Uh, this is not how it's supposed to look. This is how it's supposed to look with the Filmic view transform applied. So in order to do that, we need to go to image, color space, and we have some pre-populated um, configs here, uh, some of which look okay, like very, very close, but not 100% accurate. So we're going to use the Blender color configs. So let's add a new config file. For me in Windows, I installed via Steam. So I just go to my Steam directory here, the latest build, data files, color management, and config. OCIO. And now we have color management options. I'm going to delete the default here and I'm going to add one specifically for OpenEXR. I'm going to tell DJV that it is linear and the view is filmic. And now we have something that is, I mean, very similar, if not the exact same as what has come out of Blender. I found this a super handy way of previewing and managing large amounts of EXR renders without having to load them into, in my case, Blender's compositor and preview them. Anyway, if you're interested in some of the benefits in including passes into a multi-EXR and then compositing after the render, then I will link another video I created down in the description. Thanks very much for watching.